Hey there, second grade, how's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Enzi, math teacher from Wedgwood School. And today, I am here with my Lego Minnie Mouse this time. So Miss Minnie will be watching in and learning some math today. All right, so let's get started. Now, today for our math lesson, you are going to need your math mats. So the math mats were all of those sheets, and it came with a sheet protector. And you want to find the sheet that has the four number lines on it. Looks like that, and it'll even have the word number lines at the top of it. And you're gonna take the sheet and you're gonna place it in your sheet protector. And then I can take a dry erase marker and I can write on my sheet protector and then I can erase it and I can write again on my sheet protector. So this will allow for us to practice working on some number lines today. So you might want to hit that pause button, search through all of your math mats, find the sheet that says number lines, and put that sheet right inside the sheet protector. And get your marker, your dry erase marker, and your eraser all ready to go for today's video lesson. Now, while you do that, I'm going to shrink myself into the corner. Today, we are going to be doing Grade 2, Lesson 1.2, Add and Subtract on a Number Line. So this takes us uh, to a review of some stuff that we learned in first grade math. Now, and it also reviews some of the stuff we learned in our first math lesson of second grade. We learned that we can have a number line and a number line has numbers on them. The number line has an arrow on each end because the number lines go on and on forever. Number lines can start with any number. Number lines can count by any number. But all the spaces are equal. They're the same distance. And on number lines, we have something called a tick mark. So all of these little tick marks represent where our numbers go. So you can see that we have three different number lines. Our first number line starts at 1 and ends at 10. The second number line starts at 1, but it ends at 20. And then the third number line looks just like those number lines that you have on your math mat, and that number line starts at zero and goes all the way to 25. So today, we're going to start by reviewing something we learned the other day, and that was how we can have a number line that is missing some numbers. So you'll notice on this number line, we have some tick marks that do not have any names. This tick mark is named 85, and then this tick mark is named 89. I always like to start at a tick mark that I have and count up. 85 plus 1, 86. Plus 1, 87. Plus 1, 88. Plus 1, 89 is already there, plus 1, 90, plus 1 more is 91. Now, the only thing that's missing here is now I need to go backwards. So instead of adding 1, when I go to the right, I'm going to have to subtract 1 when I move to the left. And 85 minus 1, or which number comes right before 85, and that would be 84. 
So we were working on some number lines that were missing numbers. And that helps us become better counters. Now today we're going to focus on looking at some number stories and using our number lines to work out some number stories. So you're going to want to have your number line math mat ready to go for this problem. And you can go ahead and do the work right there on that sheet protector. But let's read this problem together. The problem says, Bobby had $14. He earned $5 more. How much money does Bobby have now? So, I like to circle my numbers. I want to make sure I highlight those numbers so that I can see them really, really well. And I always like to make a note of which number is greater. Is 14 greater or is 5 greater? Well, in this case, 14 is the greater number. So I like to start by putting a dot on my number line where 14 is located. And I put that dot right on my tick mark. So go ahead and use your sheet protector. Use the top number line and put a dot where 14 is located. Now that's going to start how we solve this problem. Bobby had $14 and we marked it on our number line. He earned $5 more. So Bobby's getting more money. He's getting greater amounts. So I have to make some hops. I have to make five hops. But that means since he earned more money, we're going to be heading to our greater numbers. Now remember when we hop, we're really counting the spaces. 1 means I've counted one space. I went from 14 to 15. 2, I counted another space from 15 to 16. 3, I counted another space. 4, I counted another space. And 5, I counted my last space. And I like to put a dot there because that means I found the answer to my problem. Where did I land once I started at 14 and made five hops? The answer is 19. So how much money does Bobby have now? He has $19. Now, mathematicians always write number models. So on your sheet protector, right underneath your number line, let's write our number model. We started with 14. We added 5. And it equals 19. Awesome job. So we took a number story and we used our number line to solve it. Now I know there are some second graders out there that could tell me what 14 plus 5 is really really quick and that's awesome. We're going to be getting to that in second grade this year. But today's activities are practicing how we can use that number line to help us get an answer. Let's try another one. You might want to erase your sheet protector or you can use the number line that's right below it. It's up to you. So this story is about my friend Colton. Colton had 10 crayons. While cleaning his room, he found seven more crayons. How many crayons does Colton have? So I like to circle my numbers. We have 10 and we have seven. So I'm going to put a dot where my larger number is, and my larger number is 10. So I'm going to start at 10. Now I have to decide which way am I going to hop on my number line. Is my answer going to get bigger, or is my answer going to get smaller? 
Well, Colton started with 10, and he found seven more. How many crayons does Colton have? I want you to press the pause button on this video, and I want you to try to solve this problem right on your sheet protector. Make the hops and find the final answer. Oh, and remember, mathematicians always put a number line. When you're done working out this problem on your sheet protector, I want you to hit play on the video because we're going to see if you got the correct answer. Go ahead, hit pause while you solve this problem. All right, let's see if we got the same answer. I started at 10. I hopped seven times, and I landed on 17. How many crayons does Colton have? 17 crayons. 10 plus 7 equals 17. Awesome job. Thumbs up if you got that answer. Wow, lots of thumbs up in the air. Good job. Let's look at our next practice problem. This one's about my friend Kira. Kira made 12 muffins for the party. Her friend ate 8 muffins. How many muffins did Kira have left? Wow! First thing I like to do is circle my numbers. 12 and 8. I like to put a dot right where my greater number is, Ooh, the 12th. Here it is. Now, she started with 12, and then her friends ate eight muffins. How many muffins did she have left? If you think my answer is going to get bigger, then we're going to be moving to our right, where our greater numbers are. If you think Kira's muffins are going to get smaller because her friends ate them, you're going to move to the smaller numbers. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can solve this problem on one of your number lines on your math mat. When you're finished, press play to see if you got it correct. Oh, and remember, mathematicians always write a number model. Go ahead and hit that pause button. Let's see how you did. I started at 12 and then I hopped eight muffins to the left. I was heading toward the number zero and after I hopped eight spaces I landed on four. So Kira started with 12, subtract eight, and equals four muffins left. Awesome job. Our last practice problem. This time, my friend John had 13 Lego minifigures. He gave four away to his friend. How many Lego minifigures did John have left? I'm not going to say anything about this problem. See if you can solve this on your sheet protector. Go ahead and hit the pause button. And remember, mathematicians always put a number model to show their work. Let's see how you did. I started at 13 on my number line since that was my greater number. And because he gave four Lego minifigures away, that means his answer is getting smaller. One two, three, four, and I landed on nine. Thirteen minus four equals nine minifigures left. Did you get that one right too? Thumbs up. Awesome job. All right, my, my second grade mathematicians, today you are going to be heading into Seesaw and you're going to be doing some activities where you will get to practice adding and subtracting on a number line. We'll see everybody real soon. Have a great day.